Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We've been looking for the bottom of this market, not so much for the bottom, but for the reversal so that we knew when to start covering short positions. So here are the two alerts that allow candlestick investors to see what's happening that is likely gonna show a reversal. First of all, a gap down in the oversold condition. Where do most people sell? They panic sell at the bottom. As you can see, there was a big down day in the oversold area, but that gap was our first alert to tell us, start uh, getting ready to take profits. And there was another alert also as this, these markets traded down. Look how far away you are from the T-line. Remember, the T-line rule says if you see a candlestick sell signal to close below the T-line, you can stay short until you see a candlestick buy signal to close back up above the T-line with that caveat that says the further away you move from the T-line, the higher the probability it's going to come back up and test it. So there was two alerts today. One, the gap down. That's the first thing that tells you start watching for a reversal. Now, had it closed down here, it would still have been alert, an alert, but it may have told us that the uh, reversal was going to come the next day or the next day. So we'd be looking for bullish haramis or hammer signals or uh, inverted hammers. But the way we can tell whether this is bottoming out is very simple. If you're that far away from the T-line, what's your next uh, step using candlestick analysis? You go to the 10 minute chart. And once you see the selling stop, and now you're starting to see candlestick buy signals way in the oversold area on the uh, daily chart, I would tell you maybe it's time to start taking some profits. Even though we haven't had a sell signal, there might be a lot of stocks that are starting to come back up that you can take profits or to modify your ego or your emotions, you, might, you start taking profits, maybe taking half positions off. There, was it gonna come up and fail at the uh, 10 minute T-line 50 and trade off? could have, but notice the J-hook pattern. What did that tell us going into the end of the day? They weren't selling this market off. There's probably going to be a reversal type signal. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we have a full-scale reversal going on, but it kind of implies maybe they're going to bounce it back up to the T-line. When did you take profits in stocks? Again, when you saw that gap down and they started trading it lower, the candlestick logic basically tells us that if they come back up through the open in the oversold area, there's a likelihood they're gonna create some sort of candlestick buy signal. That becomes your first place to start taking profits. Or if you see something like our w or WBS selling off right to a level that everybody else is watching, Go to your 10 minute chart and where the 50 day moving average is on your daily chart, if it's starting to bounce up off of that level on your 10 minute chart, that's a good place to take profits because what's the worst case scenario? If they roll it over and come back through this level, pretty much tells you they're not supporting at the 50, there's still more downside. You start taking profits in here, at least you're out at a level that either says you got out at a good level or you can get ready to go back short again. So where do the probabilities change? Our short recommendation on T-Tech has been good, but we're down in the oversold area and look what happened today. You had a doji yesterday, oh, Friday. Then you had a bullish engulfing in the oversold area. What's that tell you about your probabilities? As far as being short, they're starting to go against you. This was a good place to start taking profits. Again, this is not rocket science. This is just applying what the Japanese rice traders have illustrated to us in graphics 
of where investor sentiment is likely to change. Your strong sell signals. Now we're looking at that same trade saying, all right, oversold area, bullish engulfing signal. Let's take off at least half the position, if not the full position. Now, does that mean every uh, stock bounced back up? No, there's still stocks that have had strong sells. There's your evening star signal gap down. Now, what's the difference between this one? Well, it didn't create any buy signal. Didn't show a lot of strength. You could still be shorting this one on weakness. And the same scenario on our recommendation of an ITC I. Why was the recommendation put on? Because obviously you had a morning star signal in the oversold area, right off the uh, fifth or the 200 day moving average that on Friday closed up above the T line and the 50. That told us any positive trading today could be bought because that's the area everybody was buying. So anytime we, uh, uh, anytime we see a, uh, a buy signal, that's telling us something. And notice what happened on Friday. That buy signal was based upon the, the uh, daily or the, uh, the indexes trading off hard. There was buying going on. So right now, we don't know whether they're going to bounce it back up here, but the prob probabilities of being short have diminished greatly. So you want to start taking profits and then waiting for the next signals. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.